Sate. O chant unto our God, chant ye, clap your hands, all ye nations. The reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans. Brethren, now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk becomingly as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in chambering and litigiousness, not in strife and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. But, for, but as for the one who is weak in faith, receive him, but not for disputes over opinions. For one believes he may eat anything, but the weak person eats herbs. Let not him who eats despise him who does not eat, and let not him who does not eat judge him who eats. For God has received him. Who are you to be the judge over the servant of a stranger? To his own master he either stands or falls, but he will be made to stand, for God is able to make him stand. He speak to thee and read it. Let us attend. The Lord said, If you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And when you fast, do not look dismal, like the hypocrites, for they disguise their faces that they are fasting so that all may see. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by men, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be 